Hello and welcome back, we are now at Radoc. When you take the ship, you'll actually arrive at a port to the east of Radoc to get to Radoc. Go west and a little north from the port. I also did some leveling up. Tadek learned a new spell, Forget, which forgets stuff that recall and remember, memorize. Hassan also got to level 13. And Muriel got all the way up to level 12 and learned quite a few new spells. She starts out with Heal, Antidote, and Upper. Antidote removes poison, Upper raises a person's defense. Level 6 she learns Surround, which hits a, gr a group of enemies and it lowers their hit percentage. At level 7 she learns Outside, which warps you outside of a cave or dungeon. At level 9 she learns Ice Bolt, which is a single target ice attack. At level 11, she learns Sleep, which has a chance of putting a group of enemies to sleep. The main reason I did the leveling up was to buy the new equipment the town sells. Or the castle. I don't get it, I mean. You can come here as soon as you're visible, so why even shop in San Marino? I made a mistake there. I bought the Blade of Boomerang for the main character. Its attack power is weaker than the Chain Sickle, but only by 2 points, and it hits all enemies, which is better overall in my opinion. I gave the hero's Chain Sickle to Hassan. We also have the Thorn Whip here, which is a pure upgrade to the Bronze Knife from the Bronze Knife. The Muriel, it hits a group of enemies, and it has higher attack power. And in the armor shop, we have the royal clothes, which you actually need to progress the story. The bronze armor, which is the best available for Hassan. And the bronze shield, which is the best available shield for either the hero or Hassan. Dancer's clothes, the best armor for Muriel. The leveling actually went pretty fast due to that special enemy in the Dream Scene Cave. See, he hints that you need the royal clothes for something coming up. I will show that special enemy sometime. Maybe not now, but... I definitely will show it. And in this pot, we have small metal number 5. In this well, there is nothing yet, but there is treasure which we can't get to. We can get to it much later on. Eventually, we'll come back and get it. Now if you didn't have the royal clothes, this guy would just tell you to scram and beat it.
Okay, we are the prince. I'm a big fat liar. We get another silk robe. Uh-oh, we're screwed. Uh, Sarah? We've been exposed. Great. Okay, in the next episode, we will find out what to do next. This has been Tata signing off.